here, I'm going to be demonstrating how I would approach drawing a, an image in graphite with perspective and values. I'm starting off my drawing by using a H pencil, a hard pencil, and laying out the basic shapes and lines and checking for proportions before I build up any details or any values. I'm really looking for the most dominant shapes, so I'm starting with the shed first because that's taking up the largest area of my drawing. And then from there, I'm building out and laying out where the other major structures are, including the fence, the houses in the back. And as I go, I will later build up more details. I don't always have everything perfect right away, so as I go, I'm not afraid to move things around in my drawing if I find out that they're not in the right spot later. And I can do this at any time. I'm going to start speeding up parts of my video, but in this section, take a note of how I'm using my pencil to compare to my original image, which I would do whether I'm working from life or a photo. So I'm comparing the angles, the distances, by using the side of my pencil. Now that I've laid out most of my overall shapes and it all follows perspective back to the vanishing points, I'm now going to build up major shapes of value. I'm also going to zoom into the picture a little bit better so you can see.
Now I'm going to be refining all the major and minor value shapes. I've laid out the major ones in the buildings and the trees and the fences and the major structures. And so now I'm returning to these points to compare values, to lay in anything that is stronger or darker. I have switched from just using an H pencil and a 3B pencil to using a 6B pencil. So I'm returning to the darker areas and slowly building up the dark zones. I'm particularly interested in the contrast between one value shape and the one next to it. So for example here I'm really looking at what the values of the side of that shed looks against the fence to the right of it. And so I'm marking that it's a lot stronger in the fence than in the shed and comparing the bush to the shed as well. So I'm looking at multiple edges and building things up from there.